Hello everyone, my name is Insect Isaac, and today I would like to show you my beetle collection. So this is part three of my insect collection, and I have my beetles, dragonflies, um, crickets, butterflies, and moths. So I'll show you in more detail. Up here we have a common find. It's a June bug. You'll actually hear them knocking on the window when they fly at night. You'll hear a little puck, and that might be a June bug. So I've got a bit of those. Here's the tiniest one I have right here. I've got some more go right over here. Then I have some diving beetles. I have here a giant diving beetle. You see here. Very large. It's the largest um, uh, beetle I have in the whole collection here. I have some flower beetles. Over here, flower loving beetles. I've got some Japanese beetles that will eat flowers and vegetables and trees. They're really like a pest. They're really a pest around these parts. They'll eat everything. But they're really beautiful. They have a nice green and red shine to them. I got some weevils over here, different types of weevils. And I have here. This one of the orange spots it actually eats decomposing flesh and stuff like that. Found that one on the edge of a garbage. And I have here some white spotted sawyer beetles, or two spotted sawyer beetles. And you can see this one is a male. It has very large antennae over here. They're almost twice as long as its body. I'm going to put you back. In there, I have uh, flower loving longhorns, longhorn beetle. I've also got a squash bug over here, a leaf footed squash bug. You can see how its foot's got some, uh, they almost look like leaves. Got another one up here. Some more still bugs. I've got an assassin bug right there. Um, they bite. They bite, and it really hurts. It's like a bee sting, almost. Got some more stuff. I got a firefly. If you're wondering what a firefly looks like in the daytime, it's this one right here. This one moving around. And the two under it are also fireflies. I got a stink bug. Loads of stink bug. I got an ambush bug over here. Some click beetles. Beautiful colors. I got European beetles, European ground beetles over here. You can find those under rocks. Over here as well. Lots of beautiful stuff. I got tiny crickets. Little tiny crickets. I've got here. I've got um. Uh, hmm, I forget. It's this is the gray one right here. I forget its name. It's a blister bug. You can actually cause blisters on your skin. Mango. Another beetle here that lives in the sand. It's got little bumps on its body that actually brings water to its mouth. I got another beautiful click beetle over here. Carpet beetle. Those are annoying. And I've, I've actually got a scorpion in this one. Um, a house scorpion. I'm going to sit over here. This is a scorpion. It kind of looks like a tick. But you can see. It's got pincers, so yeah, you can see that it's almost as big as the pin, and you can actually find those inside your house. Of course, they're harmless; they're really small, but they eat dust and stuff like that. So yeah, if you got a dusty house, you might want to clean up, or you might find some of these scorpions even in your bed sometimes. This one's found on the floor. Um, in the basement that I have. So we've got some toad beetles over here. They'll fly away. Some uh these are pretty cool. You can see on their head they have these little little spike and they'll go on like thorns. They look like a thorn like on a rose or something. They'll actually camouflage so I got some of those. 
I got some flies over here. I got some bubble flies, assassin flies. This one looks like a bumblebee. But if you look at the head, you can actually see it's a fly. It's quite large as well. Got this bumblebee mimic. L lots of robber flies. A giant horse fly over here. And if you think that this one is big, this is a big fly, right? But then you've got this Goliath. This is a slightly larger, but it's really big compared to my hand. You can see just how big it is. So I'll put you back over here. And put this one back in its position. I also this fly with the orange abdomen with the, all the little hairs on it. It's kind of gross, but it's kind of beautiful also. Of course, I got grasshoppers and crickets who run down here. Some grasshoppers here. This is actually a field cricket. Find those in fields, it'll hide under rocks and stuff. And this is either, I believe this one is a camel cricket. This is a young one. They can grow much larger, but this one I found under a rock and I took it back home. Oh boy, I just dropped the camera in my collection. Oh well. <laughs> Make sure you have a strap on your arm or else you'll actually drop your camera. So, alright. I damaged a cabbage white, a tree cricket, and a caddis fly. Those are common. I'm happy because those are actually common. I'll be able to find some more. Um, I would have been really sad if I dropped it on like a sphinx moth or like <laughs> other beetles, I was close. Alright, um, but anyway, I'll just take this away. And you can see here, I know I have beetle body parts. That's quite unfortunate. I'll have to clean that up and hope to get more insects. Anyway, moving on. Oh, and I also got this cricket over here. Um, as you can see, there's another one down here. These are just going to fly around in the summer. They're really common, so I'm not really worried about that. Um, yeah, anyways. we got some more crickets. I can, you can see I spread the wings here to see. I also got a white admiral. In my other collection, um, in the last video I covered the butterflies, I talked about the red admiral, which was most closely related to the painted lady. But this is what regular admirals look like. It's very, it's almost like the brother of a uh, red spotted purple. I haven't found one of those yet, so I'll keep an eye out. Also got a phantom butterfly cool theron over here. A tiger moth, and this is a female of a moth. Some female moths don't actually have wings. Instead, they're just little shriveled up, um, gross little goblin things. <laughs> That's what I like to call them. And um, the males look a bit like these. Little moths. This is a cool moth. Um, they used to be really common, but I haven't seen any in the past two years. I've collected one just to be sure, um, that at least I would have one in my collection. I uh, also got some cabbage whites over here. This one is broken here. Take you away. Um, I just want to see if anything else is broken. I don't think so. Alright, so these are cabbage whites, and under here I have a uh, mustard white. Now, the one in the other collection was a uh, summer form, and I talked about uh, the spring form having little veins. And though it's a very bad condition, you can see here the little veins. And if we turn it, you'll see them even more. So you can see here are little veins on the wings. So that's what I have. Um, here are deformed moths, a luna moth, a tomato hornworm moth, and a, another luna moth, all deformed. Um, yeah, that was sad. I also got some old polyphemus moths that are too, too, um, uh, dead. Too, um, uh, too withered to put in the other collection. But, 
I kept them here instead of throwing them away. Alright, I also got sulfur and a wood nymph here that I covered in the other video. Anyway, here I have uh, ladybugs, different species of ladybugs, as you can see. Over here as well, potato bugs and stuff. I have a unique insect here, this long one with the white lines. Very beautiful. I also got some six body tiger beetles. These are a blue, almost a blue green shine to them, and they're really beautiful. You can see it's more of a green shine right here. It turns into like a blue shine. Very beautiful, very shiny. I also got some dung beetles, which you. These are the beetles that make uh, balls of um, uh, animal feces. And they will carry those around. Yeah. I've got a scorpion fly over here. You can see it's it's appendage there. This one over here. I've also got this huge uh, mayfly over here, which has these cool tails. And you can see these three things, little two things, are ovipositors of this really awesome looking um, uh, wasp. This is cool. I've also got pigeon wasp over here. These damage trees as well. Not very good. I've got a classic hornet, uh, a yellow jacket. Uh, oh, here's an actual bumblebee that I have here. And here's the bumblebee mimic I showed you earlier. I'll show you a little comparison. You can see how similar they look. That's really cool. I also got a little bee up there. And some ants, some flying ants as well. And yeah, these are the caddis flies. They are beautiful colors. And up here I've got some dragonflies. Their color is kind of faded. We also got some damselflies, which the color is also faded. This one is a black winged damselfly. Very beautiful. I also got a delicate lace wing here, a green lace wing. Wings are very delicate. Um, the way I pinned them will actually not really see the holes, but um, the way I pinned it was so difficult that the holes almost like ripped the wings apart. So yeah, from far away it's almost invisible. But yeah, this is part 3 of the collection. Um, the beetles and a bit of miscellaneous um, disposing of other insects. Anyway, my name is Insect Isaac. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.